The iPad Pro uh, features a um, an A9X chip. Uh, they have it's a 64-bit uh, chip, which is a more powerful version of the chip that's in the new iPhones. Uh, it's two gigabytes of memory, faster flash storage, 80 percent faster is what Apple claims uh, than portable PCs that have shipped in the last 12 months. The keyboard accessory you see here is custom made for the iPad. It's going to cost $169 and an additional stylus will cost $99. So then the display of course is the most defining feature of the iPad Pro. It's a 12 inch display. Uh, it's 2732 by 2048 and it allows you to take advantage of the split screen multitasking um, in uh, many of the new iPad apps. You also have uh, the ability to use accessories like the keyboard to give you kind of a more functional uh, portable computer than previous iPads. So the keyboard works just like a smart cover. So if you disconnect it from the bottom, fold it over, acts like a smart cover. Notice it's slightly uneven here along the edge because of the additional keyboard, uh, but it does, does fit flush because of the uh, additional joint material that they put in here. So if we open it up, and then nestle the iPad right down into this groove here. Uh, you can uh, set the iPad up. You'll notice that there's a small connector here which connects the data uh, port and power, uh, which powers that keyboard. So once we nestle it in there, you can start typing. So apply here. fix my typo there. So this, uh, the keyboard throw is about the same as the new MacBook. So if you've touched one of those yet, this is going to feel very similar to you. But there is a sort of uh, vinyl material that's wrapped over the top of the keys, uh, which creates a closed unit. So it's not actually separate keys. Apple says they've developed a new um, plunger mechanism for these keys uh, that is very similar to the new MacBook. It feels okay. The throw's pretty minimal, but it's not distracting. I can still type on it at full speed. It doesn't feel like there's uh, there's too much difference there between typing on this and one of the new MacBooks. Of course, you also have keyboard shortcuts now, which allow you to switch between apps uh, and enable new functionality, uh, which you don't have with the native keyboard. If you do unplug the uh, keyboard from the iPad, your normal uh, on-screen keyboard will just appear. Uh, when you plug it in, it goes away. So that's the new keyboard accessory and the new iPad Pro. The iPad Pro also has uh, stereo speakers, but it has four of them. One here, one there, and then two on this side. And then Apple says it dynamically changes the uh, sound output from those speakers depending on how you're holding the iPad, whether it's vertical or horizontal, to give you a, a sort of surround sound effect.